Hi. Welcome back. Let me just figure out what I'm doing here because I can't find my mouse. I have three monitors and my mouse is lost. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a drink of coffee real quick. Because my throat is extremely dry. Okay. So... What I'm going to do to show you guys a little bit of side-by-side -side comparison is I'm going to go into my content folder. I'm going to create a blueprint class and the parent class that I'm going to create is I'm going to choose actor like our C++ class and I'm going to call it my BP actor. Now I'm going to actually rename this so the naming convention is similar to um, the CPP one and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my BP actor and I'm gonna set up a little bit of code it's nothing gonna be too drastic I'm just going to add a single variable and I'm gonna call it my bool. I'm going to compile it so I can set its default value to true and actually um, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually keep it as false uh, now that I think about it I'm gonna go over here into the event graph and I'm going to get rid of all of this so there's a little bit more screen space for me to work on now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click function add a function now this is actually called a method or a procedure so I'm gonna call it my method and because we're not gonna be returning anything from this but what I am going to do is I'm going to set my boolean to being true in my method so I'm going to add a node comment saying my method sets my bool to true now this is a little redundant but hold on let's see if we can I don't know why there's two bits of things on there to true okay now what I'm going to do is keep it like that um, and now I'm gonna go back over and compile and save so that it saves I'm gonna go back over to um, our code and I'm going to use our old actor that we had used before it I have deleted the grayed out code just for screen space. Um, you don't have to, but I we're not going to ever use it in this tutorial series, at least not in this file, so you're more than welcome to delete it if you'd like. So how do we create a method? Well, first we should probably put um, a comment telling us what this method might do in the future. So I'm going to say this sets a private member, private boolean member to true. Okay. Now under that, I'm just going to type void my method and two curved brackets and a semicolon. That's it. That's all you have to do to type in to initialize, or not initialize, but to define a method. So to actually implement this method, we are going to need to go in here and we are going to have to type void a my actor because we want to look in the my actors and aim space and we're going to say my method and two curved brackets again and then we're gonna to go to a new line and create a block for this method now we don't have necessarily that's all we have to do now necessarily we don't uh, have anything to we don't have anything to change so I'm gonna create a private member in here and it's going to be called 
Actually, I'm just going to create it public. Um, and I'm going to call it my bool, Leon. I'll just call it my bool. And actually, we have to give it a type name first my bool. Semicolon. Okay, now we're going to save it. I'm going to go into the constructor and I'm going to say my bool equals false, like we did in the default. Okay, why do I have two of these open? Let's close out one of those just so we don't get anything errors or anything like that. So when we created this my boolean variable, its default value was false. So we must set that up in our constructor. So we did that. And now we need to implement my method so that we can change my boolean to being true. So I'm going to do that. My bool equals true. And now, whenever we call my method from somewhere, we our boolean will be set to true. And same way with this method. So a method doesn't return anything. It's different from a function. I'm going to create a function in here. And I'm just going to call it my function. And since this one's going to return something, let's, um, we, we're going to need an output. So it says new parameter. Now, when we're working in C++, there is two ways of returning something. You can either return something through the actual data type that it returns, and we can. Well, what we'll do is we'll show you that right now. I'm not going to create a comment for this um, one, but I would like you to set up a comment yourself and try and think about what it might be called. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say bool because we want to return a boolean value and I'm going to call it my function and two brackets and a semicolon but this time in the brackets no actually not yet we're not going to put a parameter yet oops I accidentally clicked the wrong button so this data type before my function what it's saying is that my function is going to return a boolean now in C++ you can a function can only return one value so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to implement this by copying this setting the a my actor into that part deleting the semicolon and creating a block for it okay so by default we're gonna need a return so we're just gonna say return my bool okay so you can see where we're going with this this return says hey I wanna take whatever this is and it must match the data type of whatever it's going to expected to return so we set up my function and it's returning a bool so my boolean is a is a bool so it can be returned properly now if I went in here and I said int 8 my, my int and I tried to return my int 8 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save all and I'm going to press control F5 and what it's going to do is going to try to build and what it's going to give us an error because int 8 is not the same data type as a boolean there's no conversion available so it's going to give us some error and while it compiles it see right here it says there were build errors would you like to continue and run this last successful build I'm gonna say no 
and it says error c4800 int 8 forcing value to bool true or false performance warning now it's trying to force this int 8 which is an integer in 8 bits of memory it's trying to force it into a memory space of only a single bit this is bad you should try and remember what you're trying to return and return that type only now we could have we could do something like this which is called casting and we could say bool but if I were also to com compile and run this it's probably still gonna give us an error it might not but it's going to essentially yes it's doing the same thing we can't we can't actually cast an int 8 into a boolean we won't talk about casting for a bit but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to do this like let's say you had this returning an int 8 instead of a boolean and you tried to cast my bool to an int 8 I believe this would work because there is enough memory space for my boolean to be shoved into my int 8 or rather an int 8 because it has enough bits of memory to basically shove it into a memory space that that is available so I'm actually going to go back into my Unreal Editor and I'm going to double open this up and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out the one that just popped open and so it says so to show you what it looks like in the BPP uh, blueprint uh, methodology is that so it's all the same um, this is what it looks like and what this looks like so I just wanted to give you a side-by-side -side comparison of what a method setting looks like in blueprint and what a function looks like in blueprints to C++ so yes in our next tutorial what we're gonna go over is actually how to return multiple values we'll talk about parameters and how we can interact with data